here we have a word problem that involves direct variation. And remember, the formula for direct variation is this y equals k, that's our constant of variation, times x. And, and we say y varies directly with x. This is important to know because in a word problem, the main thing is trying to translate the words into the correct formula. Let's see what we've got here. It says, according to Newton's second law of motion, the force acting on an object varies directly with the object's acceleration. Okay, so the force varies directly with the acceleration. So force is where y is in our equation. Y varies directly with x. So force varies directly with acceleration. So that's our x. So it says, suppose that a force, that's our y again, of 63 newtons results in an acceleration of 7 meters per second squared. If the object's acceleration becomes 2 meters per second squared, what is the force? And this is a typical direct variation problem. You get some values for x and y, and you need to plug them into this and solve for k. So, so try to find the constant of variation. And once you've found that, you'll use k to solve the second part of the problem. So this 2 meters per second, that's for the second part of the problem. First, we can take this force and this acceleration, that's our x, and use that to calculate k. So let's plug these in this formula right here. So instead of y, I put the force, which is 63 newtons. And then we have k times, and instead of x, I put the acceleration, which is 7. Now, uh, I want to solve for k, so I'll divide both sides by 7. And 63 divided by 7 is 9. And over here, the 7s cancel, so I just get k. So k equals 9. That's our constant of variation. Now, they're asking if the object's acceleration, remember that's our x, becomes 2 meters per second squared, what is the force? So we want to find the force. The force is y. We don't know that, so we'll just write that down as a variable. We do know k now. Our constant of variation is 9. And they're telling us the acceleration, which is our x here, is 2 meters per second squared. So 9 times 2 is 18. So y becomes 18. And we should use the same units here. They were in newtons. So this is 18 newtons of force. So that is how to do a word problem that involves direct variation.